Expendius. I didn't expect to find you here. Alas, this is a bad time. We've been beaten by the Carthaginians. I'll tell you everything that happened. While Spendius was exploring the Hatchet Pass, Hannon left Carthage, leading a strong army. The war elephants and the renowned Sacred Legion jostled the mercenaries, led by Arthurite. The Gallic chief, drunk at the time of the attack, allowed himself to be caught unawares. He was forced to flee to the Solitude Mountains with his men. This is where Spendius finds the mercenaries, after having ruptured the waterworks and crossed over the mountain. And so, through Arthurite's fault, we experienced a humiliating defeat. Hannon occupied our camp and pushed us back into the mountains. Hmm. Unfortunately, our defeat renders your exploit useless. Near the water, filling his canteen. It took a lost battle for him to stop drinking wine. No, Spendius. We cannot fight against bad fortune. I fear neither men nor elephants. But there is on this mountain an idol that fixes us with its sinister eye. The fire of its gaze brings misfortune upon us. We'd have to be crazy to engage in battle under such ill omens. May the red fury infect Carthage, rot Hanan from the inside out, and damned be the Etruscans and Baleares who gave up ground to the enemy. Carthaginian idol has lost its eye. Could this be an omen? Might it be that the camp's fortune is shifting? The omens are favorable, but that's not enough. Before obeying, we want to be sure that you know how to lead an army. Answer my questions, and we'll judge if you're more worthy of commanding us than was Arthurite. You surprised the enemy in his camp in the middle of the night. You can either entirely circle him or lead him a way out. Which would you choose to do? Good answer. It's dangerous to drive your enemy to the point of despair. If your cavalry is greater than that of the enemy, will you seek a battle on the plains or in rugged terrain? 
good answer. The cavalry will have the advantage on the plains. While sacrificing prior to the battle, 12 birds of prey fly off to your right. What do you do? That's right. A flock of birds off to your right is a good omen. Is a lunar eclipse a good or bad omen for an army that must flee? Right. A lunar eclipse favors a fleeing army, especially if the army is withdrawing at night. If you are fighting with your back to the sea, are you better off attacking at day's end or in the morning? Yes, that is the best thing to do. You will have more chance of favorable winds, for it generally blows from the sea at the end of the day. If the enemy camp to the west and you've camped out to the east, do you attack in the morning or wait until the afternoon? Well done. This way your enemy will be fighting with the sun in the eyes of its troops. You answered well, Spendius. We are ready to follow you into battle. Spendius rallies the conquered mercenaries and marches on Hanan. At the same time, Nar Havas and his cavalrymen return from having gotten supplies. The Numidians are prodding forward a group of pigs commandeered in the back country. Now Havas meets up with Spendius before the battle begins. These providential reinforcements give Spendius the cavalrymen he was lacking. And a group of pigs, somewhat unexpectedly, spread out on the battlefield. In front of the mercenaries' army, Hanan is lining up his troops. At the center of the men, he places his elephants and the glorious phalanx of the Sacred Legion. The mercenary troops are pushing the pigs towards the enemy lines. The elephants, wrought into a frenzy by the pigs, are turning against their own camp. As they blindly flee, they carve a bloody path through the sacred legion. Despite the losses sustained, the legion holds steady tightens up its ranks, and slaughters the pigs. In a perfect spot on a clear terrain, the Numidian cavalry makes every effort. But the enemy infantry valiantly resists. There are heavy losses on both sides, but it's the discouraged Numidians who finally cave in. The Balearic slingers give up under the Velites that rain down upon them. When everything seems lost, a resounding cry is heard. The Sacred Legion is retreating. Badly harmed by the elephants, the Legion gives up in front of the mercenary infantry that had reserved its forces for this decisive confrontation. The retreat of the Sacred Legion gives renewed courage to the Numidians, who attack once again. Emboldened by the Numidians' example, the Slingers take up the charge. The Velites are retreating. The civic infantry is retreating. The mercenaries are victorious. Spendius is victorious. He captures the enemy general 
chases the remainder of his army from Carthage and regains control of the mercenary camp. Shortly after the battle ends, Matho returns from his journey to the coastal cities. He brings with him engines of war that are immediately placed in position in front of the ramparts. Carthage will truly be under siege. <laughs>